city council meetings. This comes after several recent meetings that have been shut down by the protesters calling for the mayor to resign. Trevor Alta has been at the meeting all morning and Trevor, what's happening there? Well, right now, this deliberation is still happening, Ken and Jenny. I just stepped out of it maybe two minutes ago because people are still testifying about how they feel about this ordinance. In fact, we have some video of what's been happening this morning that we want to show you. There was a lot of tension all through the morning, even before they got to the discussion of this emergency uh, notice and this emergency ordinance. Mayor Wheeler had to ask the crowd to not interrupt or talk over testimony about a dozen times over a series of issues, even before they got to this new code of conduct. And Mayor Wheeler asked the council, to approve this code of conduct for people attending meetings and to give the presiding officer more specific authority to expel people who are causing disruptions. Now, one woman who testified against this ordinance said people are only yelling now because they're feeling shut down by the system and they're desperate to be heard. Another man who testified is a man named Joe Walsh, who's previously taken the city to court and won when he was excluded from other city council meetings. He said what the city was trying to do was still illegal. Now, this ordinance was to address that ruling. The ruling mainly cited the vagueness of city code at the time and it, it was that ruling that happened from Joe Walsh's case that the ACLU actually cited today when they testified they said that this new emergency ordinance is too vague it kind of steps on people's due process and their right to be heard but as I mentioned this is still happening right now we've seen several people testify against the ordinance they feel like they're being shut out a few people testified for the ordinance they say that the protesters are stepping on their ability to speak freely of course those people who spoke were then shouted down as fascist by the protesters who were on hand. So what we're going to do is, after I throw it back to you, I'm going to run back inside. We're going to figure out one city council votes on this ordinance. If it passes, we're going to try to get that to you live on the air here as long as we're still uh, before 1230. But in the meantime, we're going to have an update as soon as it is available on coin.com. In the meantime, Ken and Jenny, we will send it back to you in the studio. Yeah, difficult dilemma because you want people's voices to be heard, but you need to get stuff done in city council at the same time. So we'll look for that update. Thank you, Trevor. The second trial for the people who took over the Bell here National Wildlife Refuge could be 